Aloha guys, I'm here at location at beautiful Nimitz Beach. I'm going to highlight the Okuma BF65. BF stands for bait feeder. This is a bait feeder reel. What? And this is the 65. This is a fairly large reel. I would suggest that if you short cast, I would use anything bigger than this. They have quite a few different BF sizes. Um, 80 is actually quite large. This is the 65 which to me is actually quite large already, so I wouldn't go anything bigger than this from the, for shoreline purposes. Um, what makes this real unique is the big penis right here. So what happens is that this is normal operation, which means is that the spool is connected to the, the drive shaft system. Now, if you flick the switch that way, you now you disengage the, the gearing from the spool. And what this does is you use this tightening knob right here and you can preset your drags roughly between one and three pounds. The reason for this is you want a better hookup. You're using live bait, dead bait, the fish comes by and swallows the bait. Now a lot of times the fish will take off on a normal hit and you might lose the fish by the bait coming out of the mouth or the, the hook not hooking up great to the mouth or any other parts of the fish. Using the bait feeder system, when, when you go from normal to here, what's going to happen, you just disengage the shaft system from the spool. So it's on a secondary, they call micro drag system. So it's, the fish is not going to take off with the bait in the mouth or in the process of swallowing it. It's going to give time for the bait to settle in the fish before you flick up on the switch. When you flick the switch back up like that, now you're disengaging the micro drag system. You've got the full drag system that connects to the spool. And now you can sit back and you can set the hook properly. So right now, this is normal. And you see the drag is fairly tight on this one. By the way, the max drag on this is 22 pounds, which is pretty good. You flick it to eight feet of mold goes too easy. Now say for example you, you set your 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 bait the fit you got boom you got a hit right it's running the fish is running with the bait you clear off the other lines and just when you're ready to set the hook boom you set it as soon as that happens you're getting full drag power back into the spool the fish is gonna feel what's going on reel back set the hook they're done I've highlighted this on a couple of my videos and hopefully you're going to find that these bait feeder reels work very well. This is by Akuma. This is the BF65. Um, I like this reel. This is part of my normal arsenal when I go up now. Mahalo. Thank you for listening. Beautiful day here in Westlock. Water is about as flat as can be. Humidity is 100% though. Occasionally I see fish breaking in the mangroves across here. That means some predators are after them. Just a real nice day. Okay, we're gonna re-rig our crab since the lure took the crab off. And I'm having trouble with this new unit. I must have did something wrong in the formatting, but I can't cry about it now. Best thing I can do is retie my leaders, put on another bait, see what happens. So I got myself another live crab. Got my new leader. So I'm going to do, before, do the legs, come up to the hard back. The reason why I do this is that here there's no vital organs, the crab still walks around. Look at that. Isn't that great? And the crab would be walking around on the bottom, and he would attract some predators. The reason why I pull the, uh, 
excuse me, the reason why I pulled the pinchers off is because they use the pinchers to dig itself into the sand and the, the predators have a hard time finding it. So if you take the pinchers off, um, it'll remain above the sand and it can't dig into it. The wind has picked up since earlier this morning. So far I got a lua that came off under the pier, brought in a, another stingray which I let go and I brought in a uh, uh, black tip shark that I just cut the line on. Don't want him either. So we're just going to toss this out about 40 feet or so into the channel that separates this pier from the is a two-stage geared feeder switch and I just tripped it forward. This is full drag. So what happens when I switch it forward, I have a preset between one and three pounds. I choose about two pounds and what it does is it gives time for the predator to go up down the live crab. So when I flick it back towards the bottom like this, I'm going to have full drag setting on it. You don't want the full drag down when it hits because there's a good chance that it may rip the bait out of the mouth and won't get fully hooked. So we can keep it like that. That's it. See what happens. know he's hooked yet, but once I hit the bait feeder switch, he's going to feel this one, he's going to feel it, he's just going to hit the bait right now. Okay, watch, I'm it. Hit the switch now, now when I crank up he's going to feel it. There, he... oh it popped out, no, it's in, still got it, he's still on. The bait feeder switch works. The whatever hook did not know he, he was hooked because he had swallowed the bait. And after swallowing the bait, he still was running with it very, very slow. The bait feeder switch is on a second gear ratio of one to three pounds. So I set it for about two pounds. So it, it's enough to keep the line taut, but he just, uh, he just didn't feel the hook until I set the hook when I flipped the switch. Kind of neat, I like that bait feeder switch. Hey, let's see what we got here. Boy, he don't want to come in yet. Whatever he is. People in Hawaii don't use reels with bait feeder switches. This is something more for the main and like cat fishing. Um, I brought this in last week because I just wanted to try it out. I always like to try different things. doesn't want to come in yet. I run very short leaders, so once the lid comes up, I should be able to see what it is. This is my Tika, 10 foot Tika I just got from Charlie's Fishing Supply the other day. And I'm using Nakuma B2 
Dia 65 with 65, 65 pound test Harpo, the Spectra Braid, so it's a tenor braid. I was able to get 290 yards of this. So I see red, but I don't see any color yet. Well, we got some color now. Oh, great. It is a stingray. Well, eagle nose ray. It's a minus tide on the shoreline. The reef's exposed, so I cannot land him. But because I run a short leader, I'm just gonna have to cut it under the lid. Get up my pliers. Just have to bring the lid in. I can cut it right under that. There. Whew. Boy, that's two rays in a row. Oh God, I just got to find the other one five minutes ago. Yeah. Well, shows that the live crab works on just about everything. When I get your feeder switch, oh, he's gonna feel this. There. It's coming to the front of your lines. I think I got the thing fully extended, right? Yeah. Then it, yeah. Wow, that thing took off. I didn't. I didn't put the bell on this one. Might be a ray, though. See, this is you got all the metal over here too, yeah. That's why this place is kind of iffy. It's most likely a ray. Well, but we'll see. No, no, it's coming back. Coming back. Oh, no, no, I think it's a ray. I think it's a ray. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gonna have to cut this one. Hey, here, can you guys cut it right when the, when the, you know, when the leg comes up, you know? You wanna, you wanna just cut the hook or the whole thing? Um, as long as I get my swivel and leg back. Oh boy, putting up a decent fight. 
Yeah, it's a stingray. Here, Nick. here, here. But that's for the left hand. Nick, you gotta come over here, but you gotta pull a hard on these. Oh, no, don't grab me yet. Don't get hurt. See the swivel? Yeah. yeah. Okay, got him. All right. Oh, you lost your head. No problem. Here you go. Hey, thank <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Woo. Well, I guess we fed a stingray today, huh? <laughs>